Yeah, it starts to tell you when people start logging in. Uh, so right now, there's nobody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it might be that way for. So we probably start. Well, no, I think we wait till at least we have one person in there, oh, right? Okay. Oh, that's actually 15 people now. Oh, good. 19. It's 15 people. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look. See, we don't even know what we're doing. We're having an impromptu Instagram live, and. I'm Steve Sando, and I am Mr. Rancher Gordo, and this is Julia Newberry, Hello. who's Ms. Rancher Gordo, and Julia <laughs> is the co-author of the Rancher Gordo Vegetarian Cooking Cookbook, and today we're going to be cooking from this new book called Weekday Vegetarian, and why not? Yeah. Yeah. We, we noticed a recipe for um, stewy black lentils that we thought sounded mm -hmm. interesting, and we happened to grow and sell black lentils. Rancho Gordo brand. Why, they're the Cinderella of the kitchen. That's my understanding. Yes. That's great. And you know, someone, the black lentils are one of the best for many reasons. I should probably talk about this in case we have long times while we're cooking. But someone mentioned online, like, why do you have all this mystery meat? Like, Impossible Burger and Superior Pork. No, Superior Burger is a great place in New York. Uh, what's the other one called? Um, impossible and... Whatever. I, I have no interest in them. When you have so many vegetables still to discover. I think when we go through all the vegetables and we're sick of them, then you can do that chemical lab meat. Or if you like the lab meat, that's fine. But to me, it's like lentils are so great. So uh, Julie is going to be cooking this. I'm going to be bugging her and making sure it's as inefficient as possible. And we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> all okay. right. So we're going to start out with a, I have olive oil heated mm -hmm. in the pan. I'm going to add onion, celery, and the, carrots. The wonderful camera work you'll be noticing is from Marco here at Rancho Gordo, helping to take on a lot of the social media stuff. You have a kind of right there feeling about it. <laughs> Um, I was looking at this book. It's good. Yes. I, yeah. I should say, we're not paid for this. I hate influencer culture. Uh, but it looks like a great book. And she is, says nice things about Rancho Gordo. So yeah. that's great. And it's Jenny Rosenstrock who wrote this. And she's the best-selling author of Dinner, a Playbook, and Dinner, a Love Story. So it only makes sense to go weekday vegetarian, I think. Yeah, the recipes are just really, like, straightforward. Like, something you could actually do on a, a weeknight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard when people send us stuff. I won't recommend it unless I bought it. So if I like it, I have to go out and buy it. And that's so if you see me recommending something, it's because I paid for it. And you did buy that. I did actually buy this <laughs> book. I, you know, <laughs> they didn't even send us one. They didn't even send us one, which is fine. We're not asking for free things. <laughs> Except for beauty creams. I want, like, hair creams and beauty creams. That would be nice if people sent us those. We could start a separate YouTube channel for yeah. Health and beauty. <laughs> okay, so now we're adding harissa. Harissa? Yeah. I would say harissa. Harissa. Yeah, I'm sure two tablespoons fun. of harissa. We're using the tube here, but I think in our book there's actually a recipe for it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not that hard, but it's a really tube not... is pretty convenient. Yeah. what it is. It's a chili. It's Moroccan or is it Middle East? I think it's Tunisian. Tunisian. This one at least. Yeah, mm. it's Tunisian. It's hot red pepper paste from Tunisia. And what's interesting, it's just not Mexican. You couldn't sub Mexican chili paste. For yeah. Any time. No. And it's, a, um, I think a lot of them have like bell pepper, like more, mm -hmm. um, Red you know, pepper is garlic. That yeah. bell pepper flavor, the red bell pepper. It can be searingly hot, you know, depending on yeah, the I brand, think, I guess. I did not test it. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. watching other people work. <laughs> <laughs> it suits me. It's, it's kind of like far away from me too. Like, okay. So 
next we're going to, we're going to add, um, so it calls for dried lentils, but we've kind of par-cooked these. This is a pound of lentils that have been cooked for probably 15 minutes, so they're not quite done yet. Um, so I'm going to add these, and then I'm going to add some stock. A little crunchy still. Yeah, no, they could use five or six yeah. more minutes. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then, um, oh, a couple thyme sprays we'll throw in there. And in general, wouldn't you say lentils are new crop lentils? Take about 20 minutes unsoaked. Would you say yeah. that's true? Yeah. So you do see some recipes that tell you to soak, some recipes tell you all different things, but using Ranch or Gorgo brand, I would uh, not soak them and plan them about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And she calls for cooking them in broth. We usually say water, but I mean, broth will add, you know, it'll add more flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to add as much broth just because these have already cooked. And is that a vegetable broth? This is just a, uh, yeah, like store bought vegetable broth. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit, try to get this boiling. That looks perfect. I would... Should I add a little, a little more liquid? Because it's called stewy. Oh. Stewy lentils. So we'll let that cook for a little bit just to get combined and then we're going to add some chard okay. and that's about it but well, while that's cooking i understand you have a new book out julia i well almost oh. yeah it's being printed right now we're very excited so our best-selling book has been this one right i think so yeah. so uh this is the rancho gordo vegetarian kitchen and it was really fun to do well goodness gracious volume two so <laughs> this has been overnight at sent overnight by uh from asia and we're now waiting it's probably sitting on a boat outside a cave we're hoping we have it by christmas and then for the hardcore we actually have an attractive slip case that fits both books evenly we were talking we were like qbc <laughs> and you'll see there's actually corners here because they have nothing to say about their products so you're like oh here's the on button and you'll notice that on each page there's printing on both sides and so that's what <laughs> and makes it's the color there's color. They There's spared so no expense. Color. They spared no expense at all. So, anyway, we're very excited, and hopefully this will be here in time for Christmas. If not, we'll probably have to take orders and uh, ship it later. But yeah. th as everyone knows, because of COVID, the supply chain in, is a mess everywhere. So. But we're crossing our fingers. Yeah. Um, there was one other. I was going to actually ask you about another recipe in this book. And I think the premise of eating vegetarian where you can until you're ready to make that commitment, because that's kind of what you were doing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Like, no. You can ease into it, or you can just casually pick a couple nights a week to do it and focus on it. Or Yeah, or go all the way. Yeah. I can go all the way vegan if that's your yeah. choice, too. Uh, this was it. It was the spicy chickpeas with tomatoes and greens. Ooh. I think chickpeas and tomatoes have this amazing relationship that needs to be explored. That's and so awesome. this is a great way to start. So anyway, it looks like an excellent book all the way around. Yeah. I think I just lost your page. No, okay, good. All right. Um, while we're waiting, let's talk, the chard, is this just plain old green chard? Yeah. Probably could use anything. It calls for Swiss chard, but I think yeah. it's pretty interchangeable, right? Rainbow chard, Swiss chard, I, green I, chard. I, I, yeah. I wonder if you go to Switzerland what the chard yeah. really looks like. I don't know. I actually grow something called Taglio Verde, which is, I got it from Seeds of Italy, and it's a green, it's a really light green chard from Italy that I like. And it didn't bolt this summer, so I'm going to keep growing it. Nice. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. And then we also have, is that fennel? That's dill. Dill. Okay. Dill, feta, and Greek yogurt to, t to garnish it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to add the chard now. Well, it says one to two minutes to wilt it. 
Let's write it, yeah. Do you think I should let this cook a little more or add it? Um, can you uh, put a little in the bowl and I'll chew it? Oh. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. I'd say a smidge more salt, though. More salt? Just a smudge, yeah. We don't have any spoons here at Rancho Gordo. <laughs> but we're just suffering. Oh, that is great. You know what I love are recipes where I would never have done this in a million years. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I have my way. I love yeah. doing it. And I guess that's the whole point of cookbooks, isn't it? So you <laughs> hear well, and I think else just like one, here. all you need is like one flavor booster kind of mm -hmm. ingredient, like a some kind of paste or like a, I don't know, just, yeah. just one, like a different spice that you haven't used before. Exactly. Um, just to keep it. But that's where the books and talking to other chefs are good because they, uh, you can make some really stupid mistakes if you don't understand how to use it. Too. Yes, for sure. Um, this one has almost no heat. I okay, would say. here's the chart. Oh, the, the yeah, and side. you could probably use it as a garnish too if you want more of mm -hmm. that flavor. I've seen it used as a garnish. I, I like that it's so vegetably tasting even without the chart, so it's going to become even more so. Marco, are there still people there? Yeah, oh, there's, wow. this is a, this is 35, but 35 Jesus. 35 friends? Hello, yeah. internet friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just going to cook for one to two minutes, and then later we're going to put it in this very attractive bowl. <laughs> Why, look at it, it says Rancho Gordo on the bottom. So we're actually making these uh, coming for Christmas. Actually, we're not going to ship them, are we? Are we? We don't know yet. We're, we're working sure. on it. Yeah. It's a local potter in Petaluma, and the company's called Guinevere. And uh, we're doing this in a slate black bowl. And this, with the thinking really was, this was the pozole bowl. And then we're also going to have a bean side dish bowl. Because um, those are the things I always reach for all the time. But it's kind of irritating not having a bigger bowl. I love but, a big bowl. I mean, you want enough room for all the liquid yes. and the... Topping. Yeah. Yeah. But I also like a small bowl for just whatever you're having. You're having a side of beans. In fact, let me. Is this the end? No, is this the final? Of one? the recipe? No. The, is this the... Oh, is that the final? Yes. Okay, we did. And then this is the size we're going to do for bean bowls. So that's a little preview of what's to come. And usually we, for all of our new stuff, we wait until the day after Thanksgiving. We try not to use the word Black Friday. But. <laughs> This year, everything is so screwed up. If the crops are good, we're going to try and do it much, much earlier so we have a long time to ship. Oh, that's great. I'm really happy. <laughs> this is all about me. And then I think that's it. I mean, like I said, we already had the lentil. I said if you were healthy, you would use the bowl between these two.
then we, we said, of course, Jenny Rosenstock is that author. Published by Parker. Thank you so many for Parker. Look at that. Did you get the last one, Marco? That is beautiful. And I love the liquid ice, too. I mean, this, I mean, this all looks good, but this, to me, is looks like heaven. Oh, and the dill is great. It's not just for, for cute. It's, it's really delicious. And she says you can serve it with, um, is it butter cream pie in there? Oh, the tar pizza dough, flat bread, oh, wow. or crusty bread. And there's a recipe for it. Which I got this nice crusty bread from um, Della Yeah. <laughs> That's how you promote it. Yeah. All right, this looks great. 